Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tuxedo. Today we will be discussing about one of the very most important directory in Linux that is slash boot directory and we will show you what files it has and where are these files used and what is the importance of slash boot directory. Okay, to start with I am going to discuss uh, Linux boot process first so if you are aware Linux boot processes BIOS are loaded first and then grub that is our bootloader is loaded next and then kernel is loaded and then init files are loaded so this is our boot process now all of these boot related files all of them are stored in slash boot directory and if you are installing Linux in production I would suggest uh, that slash boot should have a different file mount or a different hard disk because it's really important for a directory and it's better to have a different hard disk or a mount point for slash boot directory now in slash boot we have this grub directory where we have got all the grub files all of them and uh, and the grub config file as well so grub config file has everything that our uh, bootloader needs to boot uh, Linux uh, we've got the hard disk we've got the kernel uh, which kernel to boot and then we've got the init files so everything we need is actually coming from grubconf gumfconf file now all these kernel and init stuff they are also coming from grub file now in actual in our linux uh, the actual location of these files is actually in boot directory so if you go into boot directory you will see the grub directory where we went uh, just now and the Linux kernel so uh, this is defined in grubconf and from there bootloaders knows, bootloader knows about the uh, Linux kernel so this is our kernel basically I'm using 2.6.32 and then this is our init ID files which is the next step now init ID files are at are the files uh, is, is, is kind of like an image and this is temporarily mounted on the on RAM and from there it, it keeps location of any tab file and from there all the services and all the stuff are uh, are are booted into Linux and all the mount points and all the services are, are run using init RAM FS and init ID files and these are temporarily booted into RAM and from there everything comes up and one more important file to note in this directory is system map file and if we go into this file this file actually holds all this is CTL variables and what is their actual memory location okay so this was it about slash boot directory we'll come back with other directories really soon hope you find this video useful please like and subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day